As soon as E.H. Harriman took control of the Salt Lake streetcar system, he began updating the trains, modernized the maintenance shops, power lines, plants, and everything else. Harriman then commissioned a state-of-the-art facility to house and maintain his ever-increasing fleet of streetcars. As the new home of public transit in Salt Lake City, Harriman chose a 10-acre plot of land on the east side that had been set aside by Brigham Young as the 10th Ward Square, then designated in 1889 as the official territorial fairgrounds. By 1902, it was too small to be used in that capacity and was abandoned. Harriman scooped it up and constructed the massive building that we know today as Trolley Square. This building could hold 144 double-truck streetcars. It was divided into four massive bays with four tracks each. 208 skylights provided the light for the building. Because fire was always a risk, Harriman included the now iconic 50,000-gallon water tower to the plans, hoping to keep the entire operation self-sufficient. In an effort to remain completely independent, he even had blacksmiths and carpenters on site building spare parts by hand so there would be no delay in shipping parts across the prairie to keep the Salt Lake City streetcars functioning.